So we've got Connor Stefan live for us this morning in Jeffersonville as the countdown begins. Connor, uh, you've already done a great job talking to one of the bus drivers. That's been an issue of, of difficulty over the past couple of months, making sure we've had enough for today. Uh, what's going on out there now? Yeah, well, you know, absolutely. Uh, luckily, that's not the case here in uh, the greater Clark County School District. Uh, they're fully staffed heading into this school year. That's over 100 bus drivers for just under 8,800 students. I don't know if you can take a look or you can hear behind me, but uh, things are starting to pick up here. Bus drivers are starting to get into their buses to head out to routes to go pick up students. Uh, they wanted to let teachers, or excuse me, they wanted to let parents know given it's the first uh, day and, and week of school to expect a slight delay uh, in terms of pick up and drop off. They're still learning routes. And of course, they said another thing that adds to the lateness is uh, parents taking first day of school pictures. Uh, but overall, they're excited for this school year, a fully staffed uh, Greater Clark County School District uh, Transportation Department. So we're actually starting this year completely fully staffed. Uh, we're always hiring more, so you know definitely uh, we're always looking to hire more people. We can never have enough. Uh, we've actually over the summer opened up a lot of our policies, procedures, how we contract a lot of our routes. Uh, we've reached out the community; they've stepped up, and a lot of them are driving and monitoring, chauffeuring this morning. So it's been it's it's been an uphill battle, but we're actually starting today fully staffed. Yeah. Now, I've been speaking with quite a few bus drivers here today. They say they're most excited to get back to speaking and chauffeuring around the students, as they were saying. Uh, really, uh, I haven't spoken to a single bus driver who's not excited this morning. A little surprising given how early it is this morning. Hopefully students are waking up and will be just as excited. Now, they said that parents can expect for a 45 minute delay for the start of the week. That comes from the Department of Transportation director. Um, again, it's just as they get used to these new routes, but they're heading into the school year hopeful. It's a fully staffed uh, transportation department, like we said. Uh, so I guess for now, really, the next thing is the students will get picked up the first couple of days of school. Um, but again, what parents can do uh, to make sure that this runs smoothly for the first couple of weeks, uh, make sure you know where you need to be when and make sure that if you have any issues to communicate it with the transportation department directly. In Jeffersonville, Connor Steffen, WHAS 11 on your side. Connor, you are